everyone, I'm back. Today I have a pattern haul for you. Uh, last month, September, I came across um, a YouTuber's video which mentioned that there was a month-long sale of quick sew patterns and um, you were able to purchase at the price of $2 online five and get another five so that's what I did uh, I don't know if many of you know I'm actually located in Kingston Jamaica so I'm not always able to access the special onlines that you hear of at Joann's and Hobby Lobby and whatever so I was so happy to hear about this site something delightful and um, to be able to purchase online and have it delivered to me here all for only ten dollars so let's have a look at what I got so well, the first one is Quixo K4246 and it's uh, a top uh, I like the little ruffle details on it, so I picked up this one and you're able to do it with striped fabric or uh, printed fabric. Uh, looking at the line drawings now, um, it's just uh, front and back with the ruffle. Uh, important to note though that these sizes, uh, they all run from this is extra small to extra large um, for me I'm plus size but I think I am now skillful enough to upgrade it to my measurements so uh, we'll see so I went ahead and purchased all of them because they're all in this size range so this is the first top here's another one Quick Sew 4158 and um, I love the color block with this one here. Uh, the line drawings. There we go. Letting you know um, the different uh, variations in which you can block it. I should mention though the types of fabrics that this is suitable for. This is a light to medium woven fabric. Uh, so you have like cotton, chalet, crepe, gauze. The previous one was um, almost the same, light to me medium weight, but you could use a uh, broad cloth, chambray, gingham, and georgette. All right. So this is number two. <coughs> Moving on to number three. We have Quick Sew 4252. Again, another top pattern. Um, I actually like this uh, longer version here, which is uh, thigh length. Um, <laughs> where I will wear it in this tropical climate, I'm not sure, but I, I love the look of this one. Um, it's really heavy like a lot of pattern pieces might be in there but uh, these are the line drawings so you have the short and the longer version and again a woven fabric wool blends cotton blends linen uh, and lining so there's a lining fabric needed so that's number three Number four are these uh, close fitting pants, which is suitable for stretch fabrics. And it's a uh, quick sew 3807. Uh, not much by way of a well pants, so it's just view A and view B has a little slit here. So it's a stretch woven fabric suggested and you can use stretch denim, stretch twill, stretch corduroy, stretch velvet. And uh, 
I didn't have any clothes within a uh, pants pattern so I said let me try this one number five uh, looks like sleepwear it's quick so four zero eight nine I have a longer type gown and you have the separates uh, pants and top that looks cute uh, it has raglan sleeves from the line drawings and uh, you have the pants and the top and this suggested fabric again medium light to medium woven fabric but this time around you can use your flannel broadcloth cotton so this is cute for sleepwear where am I? I've lost count. Number six is this dress pattern. Quick sew 4260. And uh, I just love it. I just like the, particularly the denim. I'm thinking of different types of denim to, to block like this. And uh, it's very simple. Looks slight and breezy. Again, lightweight woven fabric, and so you can use lightweight linen, gingham, chambray, cotton blends. And uh, the line drawing show you it's numbered which different type of fabric to put where. So this one is a um, cute dress. Number seven is uh, this quick sew. Four one seven eight, and uh, this is a wide leg pants and uh, wrap around shorts and and skirt there. So I didn't have any of these before, so I thought I would try that. Again, it's designed for light to medium weight woven fabric, so you have uh, batik cotton blends. And uh, maybe some you can use border prints. So there it is, uh, the line drawings to the side. So this is a cute one as well. Number eight. Don't ask me why. I don't know if I was trying to make up numbers, but this one is Pixel 2807. And it's uh, actually a scrub pattern. So uh, I think maybe when I looked at it initially, I thought it was a, a leggings because of the um, hem here on this one. But it's actually scrubs, I believe. And then there's a sort of a jacket type here, or oak note rather. But it can be adapted. Uh, let's see this one is crossways so it's woven fabrics of course twill and calico cotton types and the line drawing at the bottom you have the longer sleeve and the pants and you have a shorter sleeve so this one again i don't know when i'll get to it but i have it also, another one that I liked is Quixo 3045 and it's unisex. So it's a sweater type uh, with a hoodie, I think, for the male. Uh, I'm not seeing it in the female. Let me look at the line drawings. Yes, it's there. So view A, the back, and view B, the back in the line drawing. So, already here in jamaica in october rains we have had hail and so it's shaping up to be maybe colder than normal this christmas suggested fabrics of course would be like sweatshirt fleece french terrier polar fleece double knit so basic uh sweater hood with hood with a hoodie, I think they call it. All right. And last but not least is I throwing a little one here for my 
little grandiva and it's just a simple top and shorts and dress and it came from quick sew but it has LMA designs K259 on it. it says it's easy breezy so this particular one runs the sizes for the girls 7 to 14 and uh, the fabric where is the fabric suggestive fabric cotton cotton types lightweight denim gauze and the line drawings are here so that's it all tens i'm pretty pleased as punch to be able to get these here i haven't sewn in a while so this will be inspiration for me to start on any one of these and uh, look out for another sewing video soon. Bye. Thanks for watching.